Howdy, it's Kyle and I'm outside, which is pretty weird. But what I want to show today is an really strange geologic anomaly here at a park in the Chattanooga region. And right away, I want to say I'm not trying to be clickbaity with something spectacular. What I'll be showing is actually quite subtle, but I do think it's fascinating enough to literally be posting a video about it. And uh, where I'm at is called Enterprise Park. It's in Chattanooga, and I'll show a map of where it is in the city and just kind of where I'm at here. It's got miles and miles of hiking trails and many, many more miles of mountain biking trails. That's what it's known more for. And it's a really beautiful spot. It's nothing spectacular in terms of the scenery. So what you'll see here is just kind of, it's a walk in the woods kind of stuff, very nice. And it is very nice to have this type of protected area near the airport and industrial spots where we are here, the industrial park and the Volkswagen plant. So um, really cool spot to have, but what do you notice when you look around here? no exposed geology so this is again a walk in the woods really nice spot to walk for a few miles maybe mountain bike for several miles but no exposed geology so you're not going to see any kind of rocks or boulders or anything like that around here it's just going to be dirt and soil and uh, this is a very wet area there's at the lower parts of the park where there's a streak a uh, streak a street <laughs> creek bed uh, let's say stream and creek but a uh, stream You'll see some rocks that were washed in, pretty typical you would see from a stream bed, but uh, not around here where there wasn't a stream, no exposed geology. So I'm not going to uh, show the, the whole walk, it's several miles, but I'll get to a spot where it's just a very strange geologic anomaly, and hopefully it's not too boring for you to see, but again, fascinating enough for me to post about it. Okay, so here's some more of me just walking through this park, and I just want to keep showing little spots here. There's no more, there's no exposed geology, there's nothing you'll see that's indicative of what's underneath here it is limestone but you, you can't see anywhere so uh just some just little co couple more quick shots of me walking and then we'll get to the uh the spot with the really strange geology okay y'all ready for the big reveal no yeah this is it yeah this is it this is what it is yeah i made a whole video just to show you this right here Okay, so what is it that I'm showing here? Well, this is exposed geology, something we haven't seen at all on this hike. And the first thing you may notice about this is that these are not erosionary remnants. So this is not something that was sitting here and then wind and water or whatever eroded it away and left this behind. These are boulders. So something, some type of force brought these to this spot. And this has always been very enigmatic to me as to how these boulders got here and so as a geologic sleuth my first inclination is going to be of course water because that's how you get boulders being tossed around in different areas and at the bottom of this park is where you'll get the stream bed and you'll see boulders down there but if you look where we're at right here it's not a stream bed this never was a stream bed So get a little more close up to these boulders. I mean, really interesting shape. Okay, so water didn't bring these in because no dry stream bed here. Maybe they were on a higher spot, got eroded, got broken off, and then gravity just brought them down here. Well, I'm, we're at the highest spot, essentially, at this part of the ridge. There's nothing above us. So there's no you know, collapsing limestone above here that would have brought some of these boulders down here. And not only that, if you go over to here, there's a big ravine. This is a big drop off. I'm not going to go too far down there because I'm watching the viewfinder and not the, not my feet. But this is a big ravine down there and there is a walking path at the bottom of the ravine and you don't see a bunch of boulders. And in fact, even on this incline, you know, this, you would expect to see a bunch of boulders here, right? If it's being carried by gravity. So where are these things coming from? And the question I keep coming up with is, or the question I keep having is why here and only here? This is a huge park. Again, I'll put the, the size of the park up there. This is huge. It's so big you measure it in square miles, not acres. How did these things get here? So I've driven the park road, the main road through the park, it goes through miles and miles, and you don't see any kind of rock like this at all. Again, except for the bottom of the stream.
you can take all the hiking trails through the park. You won't see spots like this. And something really interesting about this trail is it's called the Boulder Point Trail. So whoever named this trail thought something strange enough about this to call it that. And again, this is so subtle that I knew the trail was called Boulder Point and had been here multiple times before I realized why it was called that. And I've kind of just wondered ever since what in the heck is going on here? <clears throat> so as a geographer, a scientist, I have to consider everything. So could these have possibly been brought in by people, some kind of ancient indigenous ceremonial type stuff. But man, these are huge, huge boulders. It would have required things to wheel. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you know, consider everything, but there's no way that was it. But they are only right here. And it's just it's so wild. So if you just happen to be randomly familiar with this spot, you're in Chattanooga, you're a geologist, maybe you're interesting and interested in geologic sleuthing. This is a very enigmatic place. And again, it's very subtle, but something I've just found fascinating enough to post about it because you're not gonna see these collection of boulders like this anywhere else in this park. How did they get here? I don't know, but hopefully it wasn't too boring enough for you to follow me along on this little journey. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed my little walk in the woods here. Of course, this isn't normal for the channel, but if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and subscribe if you're interested in learning more about geography from a nerd and maybe an occasional video where I maybe go out in the woods and prove I actually don't just live in a basement. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King, signing out.